Hi guys. Um, I'm out here in the nursery and I have Tommy right here. And yes, I see still in Halloween outfit. I have to change him out of that. Oh, you got some hat hair rid of boy. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to do this video and uh, change him for you guys and um, say a little bit of something about the changes that YouTube is making to everybody's channels. Um, I've listened to, oh my gosh, so many videos and so many people on it. And it's just really confusing. Um, I don't really know what to do. I'm, I'm just torn. Um, you know, like I said, you know, I don't make no money from YouTube, but I, 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 all every now and again, I'll make a little bit of money, but it's, it's not even about the money. It's, it's about coming on here and sharing things and sharing the dolls with everybody. And I've done like ever I've done like everybody else, go back and look and see um, exactly what everybody or the range of what they say are the ages of the people who watch the, my videos. And I don't see where anybody under the age of 13 is, has been watching, but like everybody's saying, they, these are dolls and dolls do attract children. But here's my, my issue on it. If they take and take all comments and um, off of kid-friendly videos or family-oriented videos. I mean, what good is that going to do? I mean, parents still, it should still be up to the parents what their kids watch. And for instance, and I'll just, I'll just tell you, I caught my granddaughter watching some pretty in inappropriate stuff. And I wouldn't have realized that she would do something like that. And she didn't mean to. She just got into it. But now I have her her uh, restricted. And But still, she can get on some... She could go and get on somebody else's phone or whatever that didn't have their channel restricted and watch whatever she wants. And believe me, with with kids, there are some really crappy stuff that they listen to. Um, I have another grandson that doesn't live here with me, but his mom was letting him watch um, a channel that was these puppets. And oh my gosh, the language was ridiculous. So, what about those types of channels and the game gaming channels and stuff where all they do is every other word out of their mouth is is a cuss word yeah i've 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 seen a lot of that stuff. oh my goodness, he looks so cute in that this is one of my most favorite out outfits and so since our channels are just sharing dolls, then we're the ones getting punished? I just, <laughs> oh, I'm just so confused, you know? They're going to allow all the channels on that, that cuss and 
just because they put no, it's not kid friendly. So, <laughs> I, I guess maybe if we were, uh, I just don't see changing a doll or coming on here and showing our dolls or our artwork or anything else as being wrong. And there's nothing inappropriate on anybody's uh, Reborn channels that I've ever seen. But they're going to, I don't know. We'll, I guess, well, I'll just have to wait and see, but it is really, really an, uh, something to have to sit and wonder, you know? I mean, like, I've always done my videos on my phone, and so now I'm having to go through, and I had them all marked as no, not, not for kids, but then I go back and I watch somebody else's video, and they're right. These these are going to attract kids. So, in order to make videos and all our comments and everything is going to be took away, we have to put it's kid friendly, and we can't. There's can't have. Um, premieres or lives or anything just because it's kid friendly so I don't know I, I just it's really disheartening I mean like like I said I don't make any money off of my YouTube but I, I like making the videos and I like sharing my dolls with everybody so I don't know don't know what's gonna happen with all that situation I guess well I'll just have to wait and see but uh, yeah and anybody that has a phone and don't have a computer to go through and do it they have to go through each individual video and Uh, either mark it kid friendly or not kid friendly or so it it's really takes a long time I mean I don't have as many videos as some people but I have over 800 so I'm having to go individually on each of those videos and mark it individually and I know a lot of people that maybe not have a computer so uh, and even the people with the computers are having problems with this right now. So, I don't know. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I just thought I would share Tommy with you guys. Because before long, we may not be able to do any at all. And I know I talk, I spoke to Shanna about her channel. And she don't want to lose all her videos. And... And if they do start finding people, good grief, they're talking an, an, an enormous amount of money. We, I, we don't have, I, I, I sure can't afford a lawsuit like that. I mean, there's, there's probably thousands of people out there that can't afford a lawsuit like that. And so... <laughs> I don't know. It's just a really bad situation. But as of right now, I'm marking all of mine kid-friendly. Uh, and I don't know what else to do. It's either that or you go and you mark your whole entire channel private until all of this goes through. I, I just don't know. <laughs> but anyway... On a brighter note, I'm out here with the... I'm going to get the rest of these babies changed out of Halloween today. 
been doing this for over a week, so. But uh, there's little Tommy. This is, like I said, this is one of my most favorite outfits of all. And I think all of my boys has worn it at some point or another. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Let me know what you all think and what you all are going to do about Charles channels or any advice on what to do with the channels or um, I just don't know. I think I am going to take some of the ones where I've had my granddaughter Riley and uh, some of Julie when she was younger and I am going to private all those videos because like I said I've always uploaded on my phone and I don't have copies of all these videos and it would just really be a shame to lose all these years of videos at once when you don't have any record of them. You can't even go back. And, you know, I, I have all these dolls that I've made and made in the past, and they're all on my YouTube. And if I lose that, then I don't even have any... Uh, I got very few pictures. I got a few pictures on my Instagram, you know, but that's like losing <laughs> memories. So it's really sad. Really, really sad. But anyway, guys, I'm going to go. I don't want to make the video too, too long. And um, like I said, I'm going to take the rest of the babies out of their Halloween stuff and I'll get them dressed later on, but I, I want to get all the Halloween stuff put up, and hopefully I can get it put up today. <laughs> Maybe if I don't get it all put up today, then I can get it put up tomorrow. But anyway, yeah, uh, I know everybody is pretty much worried about the whole thing. But um, yeah, and I was thinking about the, the family vloggers. What are they going to do? I mean, if they can't share anything kid-related, because I know my granddaughter watches several of the family vloggers, and because she, she likes to watch the kids, you know? And they, they do nothing wrong, and I, I don't care for her watching those channels, but uh, if they're not going to be able able to do that anymore, then it's going to be really sad. <laughs> so, my overall thing is, I think the parents need to, parents of these kid of kids needs to be more involved in what the kids are watching. You know, they, they have that option. So, it's just sad. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I'm going to go for now. I didn't uh, like I said, I don't want to make it too long, too, too long. Uh, but uh, I guess I'll share until I can't share anymore. And hopefully I've got them all marked right. And so, yeah. But anyway, guys, I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.